Okay, so this is something like this actually. See, you are just going to create yourself some nodes. For example, here I'm just going to put a, this is like a X, right? X and Z. Okay, I'm just going to put some. Uh, so in X2 and then Y, I will put a 8. No, not in the Y. We should put Y0. In Z, I will put 8. And can you able to see we have one node here? And you can be able to see, but only one beam. When you are just putting the nodes like this, it is not going to split that beams into two. So we need to do manually. See, now it is only one beam. Now we can just go to geometry and then break beams at selected nodes. And you need to select the particular node and using node cursor. Okay, I'm just selecting the node and then I'm just going for geometry, break beams at selected nodes. And then one new beams created. See, now we can able to see, see that beam split into two. Got it? So, so you selected only single node. Ah, single node. So again, I will uh, try to put another thing. For example, uh, three and then eight. See here, it is only one beam that we are going to split based on the node. And you need to select the particular node and then go to geometry and then break beams at selected nodes. One new beams created. But then you need to take the beam cursor to select the beams. So this is what it is. Okay. okay. And we also have merge member. If you want to merge these two, what you can do, go for geometry. And then here you have merge selected members. Then you can just click that. See, it is showing the number of the beams, 35 and 38. And you can select which number you want. Normally, you can go with the lowest number, 35. So 38 will be united with the 35 beam. Okay, click merge. Okay. Now, this is only one single beam that we can able to see shift B, 35. Mm -hmm. Okay, now every beam having some other number, 35 in between 39 like that. And then if you want to renumber, you can uh, renumber beams also that we have here. So you can just go for renumber and then I'm just going for a uh, members and then yes. And then, so start numbering from one, right? So you can put some number yeah. and I'm just going for ascending and I'm just clicking accept. So we need to go for members and then yes, we need to select member number, member number and it is an ascending and then starts from one and accept one beams three number. Okay. Okay. Shift uh, N, shift N is not needed. So like that you can go for renumbering the beams. Okay, for example, if you have deleted something, then you can renumber accordingly. For example, like uh, this, I will delete it. Okay, now we will see after renumber how it will be. Geometry, renumber, members. Geometry, renumber, members. Please select relevant entities for renumber. So you need to select, right? Select, renumber, members, yes, member number. And then we will go for descending now. Or we can start from uh, 100, accept. 31 beams renumbered. Can you able to see everything starting from 100 only? Yeah. Like this, we can able to go for renumbering the beams, okay? That is also applicable for nodes, but mostly beams we used to renumber sometimes. Okay. okay. Then we can go for split beam. For example, select the beam and then I'm just going for split beam. Now this is something called insert node, right click insert node, it's similar. Yesterday we have seen this. Here okay. you can put some distance or you can yes, put yes. add midpoint. Add midpoint means automatically coming, right? Then when you click OK, oh. then it is creating two new beams. Okay. Otherwise, what you can do, I just undo that. And then now I'm selecting again. I'm just going for geometry, split beam. Here you can put some distance, one, add new point. Accordingly, you will get. Okay, this is one way. Another thing, we can go for n numbers. Geometry, split beam, go for uh, five, add n points. Automatically, equally, it will split. This is also useful. Okay. Like in spite of having a one meter interval grid, we can able to like split our member like this equally spaced members. 
Okay, only 0 0.87 like that might be. Okay. And if you want to merge all, what we can do? Select everything and then geometry. Merge selected member. All together, you can select one particular beam and then you can merge. So we can do like that also, not only two members. We can select many members and we can able to merge also. Okay, now you understood everything, right? From geometry, all these things, stretch selected member we have seen. In stretch selected member, we also have some other option. For example, to a point, okay? Okay, see here we have stretch members, right? Uh, we have to a point. First, we will try all these okay. three and then we will go for to a point. Throw your distance in the sense, like you can uh, just uh, select start node, okay? And I am just going to put two meter. When you click apply, you can able to see it is stretching that to two meter, okay? And then end node and then apply. It will stretch that uh, end node to two meter. This is simple. And then you can just go for existing uh, node also. That how we will do. Um, see, I'm just going for to an existing node and then I'm going to select which node this node and when i'm going to apply and it is not uh, which which one you want to stretch so i think stretch one. will be stretch can be applied only in uh, same direction of the beam yeah yeah uh, see can you able to see now it is stretching Yes. Okay. So like this it is, and I'm just selecting it, and then particular node I'm selecting, and then only apply, then it is stretching. Okay. And then if you want like uh, existing member, for example, here I'm just going, uh, or this one I will take, and then I'm just going for uh, to an existing member, and then pick member. So this member I will pick and apply. And it is not accepted. Or we can just uh, or I will draw like this. Now I'm selecting this to an existing member, select the particular member, and then apply. Now can you able to see now it is stretching? Is there any possibility it will do? Otherwise, it is not doing. Okay. Can you please repeat? Okay. See, like this we have, if you want to stretch this, you need to select this first and then select the perpendicular member and then apply. Then we can able to see. Okay. Then uh, I will try another also. So like this, I will try. We have member like this. And then this uh, member apply. Yeah, still it is stretching. The only the way that you are doing, you should uh, do correctly. If you're doing randomly, it is not uh, uh, showing the results. Okay. We are not getting the results. Okay. Like this, we can do. And then we have a two year point. So this two year point, like uh, I'm just uh, putting this and I'm just going for four here. But this two year point is not coming. Or we will try another. So like this we have, right? But here four and then five. Uh, what we can do, we can select this particular member. I will put four uh, and then five. Then apply. Can you able to see now it is stretching. You need to do correctly. You need to know the logic and then you can apply, then it is stretching. Okay. Got it. Okay. Again, I will do the same 137. Now I will put five and then five. So five and then five apply. Now you can able to see how it is stretching. Again, I will do like uh, the same 137 member, uh, seven and then five, okay, seven. Like that, we can able to do with the two-year point. This is like a power image. Okay. Can you stretch it diagonally? Diagonally to uh, where, from which point? Anywhere. Diagonally, yeah, like this, this one we did, right? Okay, okay, I yes. will do uh, see here, like we have now, so I'm just selecting it. Uh, I'm just going to an existing member, select a particular member, <coughs> and then apply. No stretchable member is found. See, we can't able to stretch like that. That's why. 
Mm, otherwise, like uh, I will create here. Or see, like this, we have one member. Select the member, mm -hmm. one existing member. Select the particular member, and then apply. See, now it is stretching. Is there any possibility? Yes. It will otherwise it is not doing. Okay. Yeah. So now we discussed uh, move, rotate, mirror. And then stretch, intersect everything from here. We completed, right? This is also important for editing and then modifications. Yes. Okay. okay then we can go for translational and circular repeats. 